Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a, well, it's a TGIT, folks, okay? But it's a long weekend out here. I hope everyone has a great one, safe one. Uh, great Passover, great Easter, um, and you know what? Enjoy the day, enjoy the weekend, folks. Don't make assumptions. Ask for what you want. This is a cool card, man. Find the courage to ask for what you want. Others have the right to tell you yes or no, but you always have the right to ask. But you always have the right to ask. Likewise, everyone has the right to ask you for what they want, and you have the right to say yes or no. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 17, NASDAQ off 248, S&P's off 41, gold contract trading down $10 at 1974 an ounce. We have silver down 31 cents at $25 and 71 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up 243, 10664 a barrel. Notes and bonds, the 10 year note down a full point at 119.25, the 30 year off a full two points plus eight ticks at 140.30 and King Dollar. King dollar is up 426 ticks, traded 100.301. Euro at 108, yen at 125.99, the British pound at 130 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? You get a market that wants lower price. Get some nice volatility in the market. Uh, we take a look at the SPY. What you're going to have out here is this. The SPY, bottom line, try to get a higher price once again. It's going to be another failure. You get 57 million shares right now. We got up to a price point of 439. I mean, 444. You're at 439 right now. Uh, if we go take a look at the futures, we bring this future up. And as I was talking about in the update, you had bottom line of trade to come in, give it some heavy volume and i you know, that's not going to be <laughs> that's not going to be the end of this volume folks because what what happens is that when they're coming in at three o'clock in the afternoon and <laughs> you've got an hour left in the marketplace and you already have a failure in price they're going to jam this thing man um you know my take is that the lows of yesterday a game right now that low of yesterday we're talking about right now you're at 43.98 and we're talking about uh 43.84 so you're talking about the 14 points lower, which would get you, uh, what's that, about uh, down 60. Um, and, you know, the, the volume is accelerating. You can kind of see this. If you're watching Target t TV, you can see the last 10-minute bar. Uh, well, here, watch this. You know, bottom line, started, and, oh, this is, this is a, this is a cool, okay, so check this out. This is really cool to understand price and volume, folks. Okay, so here, watch this. This is, this is, okay. You can see that when we try to get higher at 2 o'clock this afternoon, right? See that, see that you, you had a spike in volume. That spike was 23,000 contracts, right? But look what you were going into. You were going into 67,000 contracts. So when you're looking at the market, folks, right, you have to understand that the market is accumulation of all of us, right, as one entity, buying and selling. Well, when you when you look at this, and this this is um, you know very subtle, meaning that you, you know I I can uh, there's no doubt I can understand when people say, hey, you had an expansion of volume, we did, but as always, what are you going into? And you can see when we're going into the bottom line is that you had twenty three thousand going into sixty seven. Well, guess what? That's not enough. Now let's do the other side of it. Then all of a sudden, let's loose. What do you do? It let loose with twenty four thousand versus 15 so you go on a lower low accelerating we just accelerate again to 24700 bottom line you get the gist of it that's a market that wants lower price and if we go take a look that's now that is the s and p's we go over to the ndx 100 the nasdaq q's what do we have inside the nasdaq q's what we have is this okay and q's and Okay, so we take a look at the NQs. We're down 282. You're going to see that we had the same type of expansion. Look at this. The NQs are already at this low, I think. The low of yesterday was 9, 
44. There we go, man. Uh, so now, now this is what the next move is, right? So now when you kind of look at this, and this is a tricky one, because the reason it's a tricky one is like, okay, we went sideways intraday. So what I'm, what I'm explaining about being tricky, folks, is this, is that is this a much larger ABC structure down? Because you can remember, it's a straight line move down. So it's like, okay, I, I'm not going to go with the ABC here. The reason being is that because we did go sideways for such a long period of time. Um, bottom line, you're into this area here, but what that's telling me also is this. So we already hit the, let's see, we, we went to 27, and the bottom tick yesterday was 21. So what that says is this. Now, this is where it's really dangerous coming into the close. We didn't hit the low. We missed it by six ticks. Well, when you miss it by six ticks, more than likely we're going to see a little sideways movement for, I'm talking about a very short time, minutes. And then you're going to see another jam. Because whoever is jamming this, meaning, you know, uh, larger banks, okay, they're going to they're gonna see where that tick is. They're going to say, okay, we've already got it twice. We know we're on a holiday weekend. And, you know, they're going to jam it again. That's the bottom line. And if they jam it again, you're going to be down at the lows that we're talking about on Tuesday. Um, so gold, gold contract out here. We take a look at gold. Gold has an in inside day out here today. Um, yeah, what was interesting is that this morning you had divergence. The divergence inside the gold market yes, uh, this morning was that you had the dollar down and gold was down. It's like, okay, that ain't going to fly. Bottom line, did gold go down in 1962? You're at 1975. Now, what I want to show you in the gold market is this. If you're bullish, this is the type of move. Now, this is what's so cool about timing the trade, folks. You're pulling back. And you're pulling back with tremendous amount of volume, 133,000 contracts. That's what you want to do when you're pulling back inside of the market. You want a monster contraction of volume. And if I show you this, we put this up, you're going to see the contraction that we're talking about because gold has been having a problem with volume. But the bottom line is that you can see that yesterday we did 132,000, but the prior day was just going into 170,000 and then uh, 100. 84,000. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.